giving real life Billy, giving real life Eilish, giving, you know what I'm saying, Phineas my big brother, you know what I'm saying? guys welcome back to my channel my name is Mia and in today's video you guys will be seeing me install this Billie Eilish inspired this arrogant Tay inspired wig so if you want to keep on watching to figure out how it's gonna go please stay tuned like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it if you don't I understand no hard feelings at all but yeah welcome to my channel um but I love Billy. Who don't love Billy? Honestly. So I got it from Ali Pearl. So this is how it's looking. It's like curly. It's actually really, really pretty. Um, and then the roots are green. I thought it was going to be all the way around, but it's not, which is extremely disappointing. Um, so it's really just the front of it. Like, that's it. Which is irritating because that's not how they displayed it on their website. That is so irritating. And this is how much it shit it. Like, my hair is blonde, so all my hair that come out be blonde. This is all out of this wig, which is crazy. Like, I haven't cut it or tweezed it, did anything. So it's shitting a lot. But it's also really, really, really thick. The part looks really good and natural. So, oh, no, I'm giving Mrs. Bad Guy herself, okay? Also, the stocking cap I use, let me tell y'all about it. Um, um, I got recommended, well, she didn't personally recommend it to me, but Arnell, Armand, um, she uses it. She got it from somebody else. I can't remember who it was. Um, I wish I did, but I got it from Arnon. Ar I said Arnon. Arnell, that's what she you see how like thin the lace is? I mean not the lace, the get the cap, which is crazy. Like So to start off, I'm placing the glue essentially from eyebrow to eyebrow. Um I thought this was gonna be a frontal lace wig, but it turned out to be a closure wig, which is fine. I wasn't mad about because I can't really recall like when I ordered it. I'm not sure if it said it was a closure wig or not. That could have been my fault. So I just said it was what it was, you know, just take it with a grain of salt and just move on. Okay. So I'm using like a toothpick really is for glue to put on your head. So you don't have glue on your fingers just to spread out the glue. Um, I like to use a comb or a pick of anything really just to, Make sure that the lace and glue adheres together. Um, just really good before I start blow drying. Just because I really want it to stick, to be honest. Um, which later on in the video, it ended up slipping off anyways and I had to reapply it. So, anyways. Um, so, at this point, I'm really not feeling the wig. Because if you notice, the green is literally just in this one spot. When it was supposed to be the roots all over. Which is irritating. And then if you notice too, like it's flyaways. It's like green bangs. It's not full. Like the roots isn't green. It's just that short piece is green. It, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, I'm just taking an eyebrow razor to cut off the lace. And at that point, I was showing y'all like, do y'all see how short these pieces is? Like the front part is really just bangs. It's not even like actual hair. Um, but yeah, so I'm just cutting off the lace. And honestly, I'm frustrated at this point, y'all. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm just like, let me just get this on my head so I can try to start styling this wig. <laughs> so I'm just throwing it in a ponytail at this point. Um, I'm trying to sing and be all happy. <laughs> but in reality, I'm fighting demons in my head, y'all. So I'm putting my band on after I sprayed a little bit of the olive oil um, super, hold, super hold spray. Um, see what I'm saying, y'all? Look at me. Contemplating life. I'm trying to figure out what is going on. Um, so at this point, I'm trying to think like maybe if I could finesse it where if I push some of the green back, you can't really tell that it's only green in the front. So once I saw that I kind of could, I'm like, OK, so let's go with a sad part. So that way I can kind of, you know, push it all to the back and to the side and see what's going to happen. Like, honestly, at this point, 
I kind of started panicking because it wasn't looking too cute. I started spraying dry shampoo on my hair, like for the flyaways, because I was panicking. I really wasn't thinking. I'm not realizing. I'm like, what is dry shampoo gonna do for that? Nothing, not a thing. Um, so I'm just flat ironing it. That's not really working. Trying my best, trying my best. So I pulled out. It's kind of like a hot comb. So it's a hot comb tool. Um, that started helping a little bit, but I still was having flyaways. And you see in my face, like I stopped talking and everything. Like I'm trying so hard to get these flyaways to stay down, and they will not stay down, like at all. I was ready to cry. I was ready to snatch the wig off. And then when I start getting upset, I start getting hot. So I'm ready to take this wig off. I'm getting hot and irritated. So I'm like, let me just move on to the bottom. So I exactly, I started combing it through, and it started looking a little better. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can finesse it. Calm down. Don't panic just yet. Let's do the other side too and see how it's coming because I didn't really like the tight curls. But once I kind of straightened it out a little bit, I was like, okay, you might be able to do something. And then you see I'm kind of pushing it back and you can kind of tell that the green is kind of dispersing a little bit. So it's starting to look a little bit better. I um, also put my wax stick on it. So it kind of helped control the flyaways and put them in a specific direction. Um, so at this point, I'm just combing it all the way through. And then you'll kind of see me like almost like curl the wand I mean curl the comb under just to give it like some type of form in those one type of curls you'll see I'm gonna show you in a second so you see I'm like as I'm going down I like suck it under a little bit because I like the curls that came with it they was just too tight so I didn't want them to leave I just wanted them to be like focused at the ends like that um, so at this point I like that and I'm like okay that's cute let's do some baby hairs because I'm still not really feeling the wig. Like, the curls is cute. The concept is cute. I'm just not feeling the actual execution. So, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. And then you see, like, I'm starting to get a little confused. Because what is that? What is that? So, at this point, I'm like, okay. Maybe it's me because I did put the wax stick on my hair. I did use dry shampoo. Maybe that's what that is. So, Let's try another piece. Let's do a little experiment. I'm going to check and see if that's the actual case, right? So let's take a piece from the back. Start scraping, start scraping. Guess what happens, y'all? What y'all think will happen? Same thing. Continues to flake. I'm so disgusted. Like, what is that? I don't even, I don't even understand what's going on at this point because what is that? But at the end of the day, I really couldn't be upset because that's your fault. Why would you take that wig out that box and put it directly on your head without washing it? So, oh well, just deal with it. Um, so, anyways, moving on. Let's do these baby hairs. I'm using my Arcani Coil Edge Control. And I'm just super my baby hairs. Nothing really major, to be honest. Nothing really major. They came out pretty cute, you know? Something different. I rarely do baby hairs like that, but I decided... Let's try something different. Do, do the same thing to the next side. Do some little swirls. I figured, why not? Because my hair is green. So let's try something different. Let's switch it up. You know, you would never ever in life do something like this. But since your hair is green, you might as well, you know. So at this point, I'm just putting a little concealer on the scalp part. Um, also, you can kind of see the glue still drying. This is what I mean when I said begin at the beginning of the video when I told y'all that my wig came out. Yeah, so the glue was still drying. But it came out cute, didn't it? Like, okay. I like it. What y'all think? I mean, I don't know. Love, hate? Yeah. Okay, so basically this is the final look. <sighs> Yep, so I'm pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Billie Eilish inspired or this Arrogant Tay inspired um, wig style from Ali Pearl. Um, it's really cute. I actually like it. Like, I want to take some pictures now. Like, I feel like cute. It's giving me, it's not really giving me Billie Eilish. It's more so giving me 70s. I don't know. I think it's the curls. I think it look cute. 
um so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate everything all of the support i really and truly appreciate it hopefully you guys like this um i'll have it linked down below so you guys so you guys can go buy the wig if you want the wig um i'm not sure i said earlier that i was going down this part black but i'm kind of liking it so i might leave it green to be honest because the green baby here is just giving me what i would need to say yay you know what i'm saying it, it's, it's living up to the fantasy